know why you guys asked me to come to church with you. I mean, it isn't even Sunday. Of course not, Mindy. It's the first day of vacation Bible school. I've never been to one of those before. You're going to have a great time, Mindy. Come on, they've already started. feels much better. Oh, hello there. I don't believe we've met. I'm Colby. Whoa! What in the world is that? Oh, Mindy, I see you've met Colby. Colby, this is Mindy. It's nice to meet you, Mindy. Now I can record your name in my data files. Okay, Colby, if you say so. Oh, he really means it, Mindy. Once Colby has something in his files, he never forgets. That is, unless his memory accidentally gets erased. And if you'll remember, that has happened before. So what's in all these boxes anyway, Colby? Well, let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Paper, scissors, glue. Keep looking. Arms and legs. Elbows and knees. Eyes and ears. Noses and mouths. Huh? Wait, let me explain. What we have here are pieces of, of a cardboard body. Wait a second. What are we going to do with the cardboard body? Yeah. Well, that's where the fun part comes in. You see, we're going to paint the parts of the body and put it back together again. Then we'll show how all the parts of the body work. Holds everything. I thought this was vacation Bible school, not a science class. Yeah, isn't this supposed to be summer vacation? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're not studying the body that way. We're going to learn about the body of Christ. 
You see, in his family, everyone is created in a special way, and everyone is different. But if you put all God's children together, then that's the body of Christ. that make us special. That's right, Shannon. The Lord has made everyone with special gifts to bless the rest of the body. Oh, like how some people are good at painting and others are good at, uh, playing baseball. Exactly. And some people find math easy, while others can write great poems. You know, sometimes we might be envious of what another person can do well, but remember, God made each of you for a special purpose. I'm pretty good at painting. I got the arms! I got the arms. You know what, Colby? I haven't seen Davy today. Yeah, yeah where is Davy anyway? Well, maybe he's not feeling well. Colby, if Davy doesn't show up today, can me and Mindy work the head? You mean Mindy and I? No, not you, Colby. Mindy and me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought if we did all the work painting and cutting out the head, we should be able to work the head in the performance. What performance? Every year at the end of Vacation Bible School Week, there's a special performance for all the parents. Yeah, and if David doesn't show up, that's too bad for him. Yep, that's too bad for him. Yes. Yes. That's, that's, so too bad. that's not very nice, you guys. I mean, you don't know why Davy isn't here. He could have a really good reason. Shannon, I couldn't agree more. After all, the members of a body need to learn to work together. Let me show you an example. Andrew, what happens if you fall off your skateboard? I'd probably skip my knee pretty bad. Exactly. And what does the rest of your body do? Tell your knee, oh well, I don't need you anyway. <laughs> no way. That's right. Because the rest of your body starts to work together. Your brain tells your eyes to look, and your eyes say, uh-oh, blood. And then your brain tells your legs to start walking home to wash out the dirt and put on a bandage. 
Do you see how the rest of your body works together to take care of the injured part? Yeah, I guess that's right. Well, that's how the body of Christ is supposed to work, too. I've got it right here on my monitor. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 21 says, The eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you, nor can the head say to the feet, I don't need you. In God's family, we need every member. You guys, sorry I'm so late. I had to stay home because my grandma. Your grandma? But I thought your grandma lived in a retirement home. She does, but she came to visit us a few days ago, and she got real sick. Oh, my. Is she all right, Davy? Well, she had to go to the hospital this morning because she wasn't getting any better. The doctor said it was just a bad case of the flu, but she looks sicker than that to me. Oh, dear. Come on, everyone. Let's pray for Davy's grandma. Yeah. Dear Jesus, we come before you right now, and we ask that you please take care of Davy's grandma in the hospital and make her well again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't worry, Davy. Jesus will take care of your grandma. That's right. It says right here in Proverbs 3, 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path.
Colby, I'm going to trust the Lord with my grandma. He'll take good care of her. That's right, Davy. He will. Colby, I don't understand why people have to get sick and stuff. I don't think anyone except the Lord understands that, Andrew. But we do know that he has a reason for everything. And we know that all things work together for good to, to those, those who, who love God and are called, called according to his purpose. His purpose. Romans 8, 28. You remembered last week's Bible verse. It's easy when you put it in a song, Colby. What song? Can we teach the song to Mindy, Colby? Yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. my little sister. Oh, there you are, Davy. I've been looking all over for you. Lori, what are you doing here? Mom said you had to take care of me this afternoon so she could go to the hospital to see Grandma. But Lori, I watched you all morning. I need a break. Can't you just watch yourself? Davy Merritt, I walked all the way here alone in this sticky weather and now you're telling me to go back home? I can't take care of myself yet. <laughs> Could have fooled me. Well, hello there, Lori. Colby. Davy, you didn't tell me Colby was here. Great. Now the whole world will know. Come on in and join us, Lori. Here, since you're small, you can be the feet of our cardboard body. Could I really be the feet, Colby? Why, of course you can. Colby. You're not really going to let her be in this with us, are you? Lori is a part of the body of Christ too, Davy, and she's a very important part of God's family, just like you are. Yeah, but Colby, I'm tired of being with her. I had to babysit her all morning. Well, I understand it can be difficult sometimes, Davy, but remember, it's hard on your sister too. Sometimes we don't feel like showing love and kindness to anyone, but do you think God wants us to love each other only when we feel like it? Well, no. In the book of James, it says that real love for the Lord is shown when we do what he asks, even though we don't feel like it. That's like putting feet on your faith. Here, let me show you. 
You've got to do what God says and live out his word. So put into practice all the things you have heard. Cause it's time to do whatever God's telling you to. I'm gonna take off my coat and roll up my sleeves. It's time to carry out all the things I believe. Cause it's time to do whatever God's telling us to. Putting feet on faith is spreading God's love. It's feeding the poor or blessing someone. It's helping the sick and hungry to pray. This is putting feet on faith. We're gonna fight the good fight and run the good race. Cause we wanna live with this smile on our face. Cause it's time to do whatever God's telling us to. So you see, putting feet on faith means just doing what God says in his word. So, uh, I guess that means I have to show love to my little sister, even when I don't feel like it? Exactly, Davy. And when you do something that you don't feel like doing, just because you love the Lord, then God will bless you for it. Lori, I'm sorry I haven't been very nice to you lately. I haven't been very nice to you either, Davy. I'm sorry, too. Colby, I feel much better when I'm kind to people. I wish I could be that way all the time. I think that's everyone's prayer, Lori. Being kind and having a servant's heart takes spending lots of time with the Lord. The more time you spend with Him, the more you'll be like Him.
Well, tonight's the big night. I can't think of anything we've forgotten. The cardboard body looks great. You all know your lines. And we practiced that song so much, I dreamed about it last <laughs> night. <laughs> What's wrong, Laurie? I just wish my grandma could come. How is your grandma doing? Well, she got out of the hospital a few days ago, but the doctor says that she can't come outside for three whole weeks, and now she won't ever get to see the performance. Oh, I'm sorry, Lori. Wait, oh yes, oh my, oh, this is wonderful. Oh, I am having the most fabulous circuit storm. Huh? What's a circuit storm? I think it means a brainstorm. Oh. So what are you thinking of, Colby? Oh, I am so excited. What do you kids think about this? If Grandma can't come to the performance, then let's take the performance to Grandma. Yeah! yeah. That's a great idea, Colby. And we can do it for all the people at Grandma's retirement home. Grandmas and Grandpas are an important part of the body of Christ, too. And just because they are older doesn't make them any less important. After all, when you've walked with the Lord as long as they have, there's a lot to be learned from them. I learn a lot of stuff from my grandma. <laughs> That's right, Lori. It's wonderful to learn about the Lord, but it's even more exciting to do the things he wants us to do. Can we go right now, Colby? Yeah, yeah please. please. Well, I don't see why not. All right, everybody, fall in. Company, a ten, huh? Praise the Lord! Everybody got their part of the cardboard body? Yes, sir! Are you ready to put feet on your faith? Yes, sir! All right, then. Company, forward, ho! Serve by side by side. We're gonna serve by side by side. Shout the good news far and wide. Shout the good news far and wide. In the cities and in the street. In the cities and in the street. We're gonna tell all those we meet. We're gonna tell all those we meet. Sound off, Jesus. Praise His name, Jesus. Jesus died for sins, rose again. Colby, and I see you brought some of your young friends along. Hello, Grandpa James. It's good to see you again. These are my friends Shannon, Mindy, Andrew, and the whole Friendship Club. Hi. Of course, you already know Davy and Lori. Grandma! Oh, my goodness. It's Davy and Lori with all their friends. We brought Colby, too, Grandma. We decided that since you couldn't come to the performance, we'd bring the performance to you. That was great. This week in our Vacation Bible School, we've been learning about how the body of Christ works. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, it says that even as our own bodies have lots of different parts, the body of Christ has lots of different members. And each member was created for a special purpose. The eye can't say the hand, I don't need you. And the head can't say the foot, I don't need you, because we're all important in the body of Christ. And the ones that seem weakest and least important are really the most necessary. If one member suffers, then all the members suffer. If one part is honored, all the parts are glad. We've learned some special hymns to honor you, our grandmas and grandpas, and make you glad.
thank you for letting us come and sing for you today. You were absolutely wonderful. It was so good to see all of your children. You have put some real sunshine into our lives today. You know, we grandpas and grandmas don't get too many children visit us here. And many of the people that live here don't have any grandchildren of their own. You mean some of you have no grandkids? No, dear. Well, then what do you do for Christmas? And Thanksgiving. And your birthdays. Well, some grandpas and grandmas just don't have anyone to celebrate those days with. It's a kind of sad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I've got an idea. Let's hear your idea, Mindy. Well, what if we all adopted a grandma and grandpa? I mean, just for those that don't have any real grandkids, so then everyone has someone special. Yeah! Good idea, I think Mindy. that's a wonderful idea, Mindy. Yeah, that'd be rad. Oh, my. I believe you have just made some grandmas and grandpas very happy. Well, we said we wanted to make you glad, Grandma. And each member was created for a special purpose. The eye can't say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head can't say to the foot, I don't need you. In God's family, everyone is special. And when we stop to help each other, that's putting feet on our faith. 